Oh my, no my god. Hell, it's pretty legit. Dude, are you kidding me? This is crazy. Oh my god. Wow. From World War II to the mid-1990s, South Weymouth was the home to U.S. Navy Air Station that hosted thousands of servicemen and women before the base was officially closed in 1997. The base's first mission, which was hosting blimps, which were used heavily by American forces along the East Coast in World War II to detect Nazi submarines. After the war, the base saw less use until mid-1950s when the airfield was designated a U.S. Navy Air Station until the height of the Cold War. The airfield eventually fell victim to a congressional commission task with recommending base closures in 1995, which fully shuttered two years later. From 1997 till 2014, this place was just forgotten about and left here ever since. There was no use for it. And there's still not much use for it. A lot of the buildings as of now in 2018 are knocked down. There's only a few standing. Um, a movie company bought this place out in 2015, has been filming and making series and videos ever since. The only thing that went from 1997 to 2014, that whole time it was sitting there abandoned, was random air shows in the airfield. Ghostbusters also filmed one of their latest videos there too going with Josh here and today if you can see look at the grass ain't been cut there's no one around here where are we well today we're at a naval air station all abandoned crazy amounts of open land and there's even a huge building where they would store the airplane still here and the runway so we have a lot to explore today let's go this is awesome I haven't seen an abandoned playground before so this is cool look at this I mean, can you believe they just wasted it? The city just let this go to waste? It's awesome. It's still, it doesn't even look too bad. Yeah, cut the grass though. Damn. I think there's a swing set over there. Let's go check out the swing set. I want to swing, but the grass is so tall. All this land that we've been walking so far was once full of like houses and buildings and everything, but they ended up taking it all down. But, I mean, there's still way more to go, and there's still a lot of buildings, just not around here anymore. Wow, guys. This place is huge. Looks like from the, the Walking Dead series. So right now, we're at a new building. It looks like a spooky mansion. We're going to go explore it and see what we can find in this one. Look at the hallway, guys. It's really spooky. Let's do this. All right. You guys ready? All right, we got oh, there's nothing. But look at this, dude. This is made out of pure steel. Yeah, that's awesome. It's crazy. Oh. There's a lot more. Oh my god. A baby stroller. This whole room's horrible, though. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Was well, this a typewriter? No, nah, it's not. I thought this was a typewriter, but it's not. What could this be? I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. Could be a cal hey, it could be a calculator. I think they did receipts on here. Yeah, things like People's that. receipts maybe were right here. I'm not sure what this is. Well, I'm pushing that. Want to go inside room 129, John? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa. I think What's people that? slept in here. Let me see. Take a look. Oh, this is Damn. Oh, do you think we actually... People were definitely partying or something here, because... Yeah, look at all the beer bottles, the... Yeah, the beer bottles, bag. the bags. Oh, okay, I don't want to touch that. Yes. It's, it's dangerous. Get out there. So we're on the second floor now, and these rooms are perfectly still, like, intact right now. They're not even touched. And you can definitely get an idea now. There was obviously two people per bed. And you obviously would get the desk, that cool phone, and the intercom. So every room is pretty much exactly like this. This is where the people stayed and slept. And look at this. They still look really nice. And it's cool because, I mean, it is pouring outside right now, guys. We're walking down this really long, long road, but at the end of this road, I'm pretty sure this is where they would, they would store their airplanes. And not only that, there's a runway here. 
So I'm, I gotta see this. I never actually walked the runway before, and especially an abandoned one. Yeah. This is amazing to me. I never seen an abandoned um, place where they would store their airplanes in. The runway is literally right over there. So the airplanes are stored here. They would get out and just go on the runway. We're gonna go see what's around here. Wow, this is awesome. Just left here. Okay, we found the army trucks right here. And some generators and some stuff. Yo, yeah, we do. We just take this and like they do in the moment. Yeah, <laughs> turns on. That's crazy. This is so awesome. The planes are stored inside this building. We got army trucks right here. Oh yeah, talk about some classified secret stuff. I don't want to risk myself going inside there just in case if anything bad happens. So I'm going to extend my selfie stick up so we can look inside and see what's in there. So it looks like there's no airplanes inside there. But it's okay, at least we've seen the cool army trucks. The location of this place is actually really cool with tons of buildings that were still there when I was filming this place. Except back in 2015 I didn't really have a style and I didn't know what I was exactly doing except exploring. My commentary wasn't that good either but I really did enjoy this place and this place does have you know great history so I, was, I wanted to put this video up anyways. But it's just really amazing to see how far I've grown from this video till now. Uh, I randomly found this video in an old hard drive of mine I was like oh my god I gotta post this place up. It didn't matter how bad this place was, I'm posting this up pretty much for me, but also for you guys to see how much I improved from then and now. Pretty legit. Dude, are you kidding me? This is crazy. Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is no joke. This, is this place is, is really crazy. Alright guys, so here it is. So, US field. Their hats. Their hats. Gas mask. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. What is this? I think this might be the blanket. Oh, let's see what is it. God. Look at this. Guys, this is so legit. Look at this. This is a whole, a whole bodysuit. Wow. This is like insane. I am really mind blown right now. This is a full blown bodysuit for the... I don't even know, something top secret. Yeah. This is like protective gear. Yeah, this, protective this is all protective gear. Wow, the army stuff's right here for the gas you put into the mask. Oh, some boots. Some boots. Nice. So right here is their runway. Let's get closer past this building. So right now we are standing on their runway. And here's John. So. I don't know why, but they're actually building something right in the middle of the runway. I don't know what it is, but this is where all the planes and stuff would just come land and come off the air, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching today's video, Explorers. Hope you guys did enjoy that. I want to give a big shout out to companies that support this channel, like today's sponsor, Squarespace. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to explore and make these videos to share with you guys for free. So before you go, I want to talk about today's sponsor. Okay, let's say that you got something cool that you want to sell. Squarespace lets you set up a complete online store right from your website. You don't have to be an online marketing guru to do it. Just pick one of Squarespace's all-in-one templates and set it up yourself. You can easily manage your products and collect orders and process your payments from your customers. In case you get lost along the way, they have an award-winning 24-7 customer support ready to help. With Squarespace, you can also set up your store on a new domain or transfer in an existing one. Go to squarespace.com slash exploringwithjosh for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase a website or domain, use discount code exploringwithjosh for 10% off your first purchase and to let them know I sent you. It's all linked in the description. And that's it for now, explorers. Rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching.